Good morning, everybody. It is July 23rd, 2023. The golden day of the month of the year. 23-23. Okay, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. It is Sunday. If I didn't say it. <laughs> okay. So this is a devotional and this one is called, It's a Good Morning Just Because You Love Me. Our Creator. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals? Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> that just came up in, um, a ghost hunting video that I did. I use this ghost hunting tools and okay, there's the word mirror. It's right there. If you get, I have no idea if you can see this or not, but can you see this? Here, I'll I'll pull the phone over and we'll do it this way. Let's see. Let's see if you can see it like that. I have no idea if you can see that, but Hopefully, you can. <laughs> okay. So, sorry if that made anybody dizzy or anything. If you're watching it and you have, like, motion sickness or anything like that. Like, my mom has that. And, like, whenever things are going, like, too much and, like, woo and uh, Sometimes I'm kind of like that, too. But I don't get sick. I just, I just get, like, okay, woo, that's, yep, nope. They should, like, not move that around so much and do all that stuff so much. <laughs> but... Yeah, so, it just, it doesn't make me feel sick, but it just makes me feel like, okay, so I'm sorry about that, um, but, um, uh, okay, so I'm gonna read the rest of this part, I just totally went off on this, but yeah, I had to say it, because I just had to, okay, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Oh my goodness, and I do. <laughs> Human beings that you should care for them. And I do. Yet, you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. Oh my goodness. Psalm chapter 8. <sighs> Verses... 3 through 5. That's the New Living Translation. Oh my goodness. And I had the dream and the angel and the crown. It was the one of the best dreams I have ever had in my entire life. It, best dream ever. Oh my goodness. That's that's just... That, that, okay. Yeah. Whenever I say God amazes me all the time, he still amazes me. After all these years, he still amazes me. This can't be a coincidence. This is just like, I've believed in God since, well, since I was a little kid, but I have a, a I got a deeper relationship with God whenever I was in high school after I met Dave Cunningham, my first husband, and Sorry, I'm about to get emotional here. But, uh, okay. So, it's just... There's just so much stuff that has happened. And... And it's little stuff like this sometimes. That it's just like... You know? And... I had that dream after I gave up on God. I, I remember... It was back in 2010. And... I have a video of it, and I can put it on this channel if y'all want me to. Um, just so it's easier to get to, but it's on my Heather Paxton account. It's just under Heather Paxton, and it has orange um, background, and it says, Hello, Applehead, and that was for, <laughs> that was for Michael Jackson, but um, because somebody some kid called him Applehead and it was during the time I was doing the whole Michael Jackson thing. But, um, so 
Anyway, okay, I'm like rambling. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read the rest of this. <laughs> okay, so this says, Skydiving looks absolutely thrilling and completely terrifying. Those who have had the courage to leap from a plane say it is an exhilarating experience that cannot be replicated. A woman shared that as she floated through the air, praise welled up in her soul as she saw God's magnificent creation from a completely new viewpoint. The psalmist was just as enthralled with the mighty works of God and in awe of the fact that God could stoop to even notice or care about mere mortals. <laughs> God created man is his very own image with, okay, I think that meant in. God created man in his very own image with a coronation of sorts as he crowned him with glory and honor and gave him dominion over the earth. That's just, I... And whenever, I, sorry, I'm about to add another something here, uh, but whenever I think about that dream, I just, I, I get emotional and I start to cry because I'm like, I'm just, I'm just like that. I'm just a mere mortal and for, and even after I told him that I was going to give up on him if he didn't do something and and then he gives me that dream and there are so many verses in the Bible that I'm sorry I'm getting emotional but to know that you're cared about and loved that much that because I feel like I'm a who is it like a Joseph, or like Joseph used to dream all the time, then Joseph the King of Dreams, or the people in the Bible that dreamt all the time. I think Daniel might have too. And, um, you know, it's just, and there's so many people on this earth, and to know that you're loved and cared for that much that God would send an angel to you to to tell you that he's going to stick closer than a brother and it's just it's just it's overwhelming and it's I just think about it and all the stuff that God has done for me over the years and I just, I, you know, you know it, I can't, there, <laughs> like Chandler says in friends, there are no words. <laughs> like, I wish I could put into words how it feels to have, to have faith in that and to, and to believe in that and just it's just it's just overwhelming and it's just because I feel like you know I'm just I'm like a nobody and I'm like you know but and I've always felt like I was a mistake and because of the whole adoption thing and my parents and my adoptive parents and stuff like that and I was the last kid to be born and and to know that somebody cares about you so much that and they will never leave you and they will never forsake you that's what it says in the bible and it's just it's overwhelming to know that you're that loved that much that somebody would literally die for you and you know get beaten to where he's unrecognizable and it's just, it's overwhelming. Okay, so, sorry, I'm so, 
I just get so emotional about it sometimes. And because I feel like, you know, I'm just like a nobody. And like, why would anybody care for me that much? Why would anybody love me that much? It's just, I can't conceive it. I can't fathom it. I can't. Is I just like uh, that somebody would do that. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm just that's why I'm always like whenever God does stuff for me or anybody, I nowadays I'm just like I say thank you so much because I am thankful. And I know I don't, I probably don't show it so much, but I'm so thankful and so grateful. Not only thankful, but I'm grateful. And to have that. So, it's, and I know that it, like for me to get like this, like, there's certain times in my life where I've, I've felt like this about certain things. And I know that there's something spiritual to it. There's, there's something to it that this is what God does. This is what he, it's, I can't, uh, I can't describe it in words. I wish that I could, but I can't. So anyway, okay, so back to the devotional. It's a good morning because you love me. So, it says, are you feeling somewhat insignificant this morning? <laughs> and I know that some of us probably do. We probably feel like we're the most insignificant. Oh, that is the, oh, and that's from one of my favorite movies. Oh, I love this movie so much. Um, the holiday, and Kate Winslet says her character, I forgot what her character's name is, but she says to Jack Black's character, feeling so insignificant and something, and I forgot, I just remember that being one of the words that was used in, um, she knows how that feels, and she was so emotional during that scene, too, and that's, like, one of my favorite scenes, because that's how I felt, and I could relate to that, and so anyway, yeah, that just reminds me of that, so if you're feeling like that, know that you're not, you're not insignificant, there is a reason, and you're not Okay, it says, are you feeling somewhat insignificant this morning and maybe a bit forgotten? Consider this. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your value cannot be measured. Through the vast splendor of the universe, God sees you. He thinks about you and he cares for you. Revel in that for a moment. And whenever you do, I guarantee you, if you are an emotional person like I am, I'm so emotional that just to, to sit and to meditate on that and to, to think about that and to really grasp that, to really get this, to really like, God and just God loves us so much. He sees us and he thinks about us and he, he knows every single hair on our head. And I'm about to run out of time on here because I've, like, rambled on, like, so long. But, okay, so, yes, that's, okay, so I'm going to read this real quick. 
Oh God, it is amazing that you, the God of the universe, care about me. You have fashioned me in your image for a divine purpose. Help me to live in the wonder of this truth. And that is so true. And that is my prayer today. That I would live in the wonder of the truth that God loves me so much. Okay. So, thank you for watching. If you like this content, like this video. And thank you so much for watching.